What's up, everyone? This is the Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox 64! Man, you can have a lot of fun doing this. We. We. Well, anyway, right now, uh, right now. Okay, this episode is going is a pretty special episode. Uh, as I was told throughout the series, namely by Child, there's actually a few bonus things that I wanted to show off. This title thing is one of them. I just like how they just follow it off screen. Okay, this is just kind of one of the special things I talked about. But there's also two warps. As well as kind of a bonus little dialogue thing that I actually saw uh, on my own. So, without any further ado, let's start with that. Alright, so the first warp is in Metro. Now what we have to do is these blue accelerators will gradually increase our speed. To access the warp, we have to make sure that we hit through all of them. Doesn't matter if we get hit, just as long as we don't miss them. And we're off! Warp Zone! Go! Now, admittedly, this was the first time I'd even seen this. As if you can't tell I'm doing this post-commentary. Ah, oh, lasers everywhere! But yeah, I was basically going into this completely blind. G4. I'm not quite sure exactly what that was about. But anyway, you can actually rank up a lot of points by shooting these asteroids. And they occur quite a lot throughout the level. Admittedly, going through these warp zones, I'm kind of bad because I honestly had no idea what I was doing. I was just shooting everything that moves. So yeah, I was just get more concerned about that more than anything. But I kind of found interesting is that you could actually rank up quite a lot of points by going through this warp zone. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of things to shoot. And I mean a lot. Particularly the asteroids, which also give health and power-ups. Which is pretty nice. Lots of smart bombs that just kind of explode as well. And I even get enough for a medal. So yeah, honestly, that is a pretty easy warp zone to go through. If you can manage to do it. And man, you can rank up a lot of points with that. But by going through that specific warp zone... Not only did we get a medal... But we warped straight to Katina. So that's the first warp zone that I wanted to show off how to get and what it entailed. Now we go to a small little bonus, conveniently in Katina. Now this I actually sped up a lot. Now from what I saw, what you had to do is that if you managed to get through the entire level in Katina without shooting down any of Bill's men, <laughs> then you get a special little dialogue. So what I basically do is just barrel roll everywhere. And what I find interesting is that I'll be quiet for a little bit. Uh, as soon as the characters start talking. I can't understand a single word they're doing except Slippy. So let me shut up for a little bit. Yeah, I can only really understand Slippy. I mean, it's going at about times five speed. And the only thing I can really understand is him saying, I got one! I got one! I got one! But yeah, so I basically try my best not to shoot anything. Except, then I realized that I probably should shoot the hatches so that there aren't a crap ton of enemies. So that's basically what I do throughout this entire episode, or level. I just 
Don't shoot anything. Then the time limit goes and I lose my wing. I actually lost both of them. So yeah, I'm in trouble. But there we go. And now for the hidden dialogue. I did terrible. I'm glad we're on the same team, Fox. You owe me one. And that's what you get when you don't shoot down any of Bill's men. Now that we've shown that off, off to Sector X! Thanks, Fox. And here in Sector X, I went on over to the... Right? There's a split path right up ahead. Before, I went off to the right, but in order to get the warp, you have to go to the left. This opens up an entirely different path. Now, I had plenty of lives before this. I screwed up a lot. But from what I figured out, this is the only way I could do this. I had to get max lasers, and thankfully, Bill helps you out here. Coming up. I found the gate! Like a warp. And there's Falco's Q saying, Oh, hey, it's a warp zone. And Bill! I'm gonna open the gate. Back me up. Still. You only help, kind of okay. helps you, but you have to do most of the work. I'm here to help. Now, I kind of shoot smart bombs. I'm not sure exactly how well they work. And also, Bill gets in my way a lot. Something's not right here. I like to think that they helped out a lot, but the big thing to do is to shoot open the gates. If you just ram through it, it won't work at all. But hearing the dilemma means that you did it correctly. You went through the gate right. But going through this final gate, woo, warp zone number two, woo. Now this warp zone, I do a lot worse on. You'll see why. Now here, there isn't as many things to shoot. They're mostly just obstacles to evade. There are things to shoot though. Like those. If I could hit them. Which I do a terrible job at trying to do. Admittedly, I'm not sure what they are. They kinda, they kinda remind me of missing no. Just a little bit. Even though they're not L-shaped, kinda just, the strange kind of glitchy design kind of reminds me of that. As you can see, I'm doing a very terrible job of trying to evade through these obstacles. Timing is not on your side when you have to go forward, even when brakes is just basically slow down. Uh, especially this part. I do terrible this part. Watch. Okay, maybe it's not that. Oh, it's here. And that enemy just took care of my wing. So I basically try my best to avoid it. And I actually do a pretty good job. Then comes round number two. Ow. Woo. And then we have the squares. These are a pain in the butt to get through. Because they look like they come out of nowhere. And Falco's basically saying, don't die on me. And with a small sliver of health, I make it through the warp zone. So that one is a lot less kind than the one in Metro. But by going through the warp in Sector X, you fast travel to Sector Z. So very interestingly, I managed to get two warps in the same playthrough. So I hope you guys enjoyed the bonus stuff, the the bonus conversation, the two warps, and kind of that little bonus thing at the beginning. Those are all things that I really wanted to show up but just didn't really get to. So I'm really glad I got to go back and do this. So until next time, everyone, take care.